Hey you guys, it's Ani. Um, in today's video, I will be sharing um, most common reasons why you probably don't have your manifestation yet, but they're in my opinion. It's not like the it's a it's not like um the most common like generally it's like most commonly what I think could be a, a mistake you're making you know what I mean because obviously everyone's opinion is different but things I used to do and I learned from like not to do that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna help you with so um also you guys in my last video thank you for all the love and the comments and the likes uh in my last video I saw someone comment that she tried one of um I don't know if she did a bundle course or one of the courses she didn't say but uh she did of one of the courses and she got movement with her SP and she was commenting how like they went out on a date or something. So props to you, girl. Thank you for sharing and letting all the people know that like this works. It still works. Your thoughts are still creating and everyone can be as successful too. So yes, if you guys are interested in any of my courses, the links are going to be in the description box down below. When you do go to purchase a course, do not worry about the date and time. The minute you purchase it, you will have immediate access to it. I also had a client this um, past few days as well. We were meeting one-on-one -on -one for the first time and in that waiting period of getting an appointment with me, she told me that she also did... Um, the remove the third party now and the manifest your SP now bundle. And she finally got rid of the third party that was like a circumstance in her reality in order for her and her SP to be together. So props to you too, girl, like if you're watching. Um, you guys, it's, it's so funny. Like, it's not funny. It's law. But all you got to do is change the narrative in here and persist in it and I'll be going into like a lot of mistakes I think people make or I used to make that if you're doing that we'll work on it you know like we'll check in and see if you're doing that so you don't do it anymore all right you guys um so one thing I've noticed and um a lot of people almost almost everyone asks me this question when you do inner conversation, so this is the number one um, frequently asked question that I'm going to get to. When you do an inner conversation with your specific person, and what an inner conversation is, you guys, is you're, you're leaving your 3D over here, right? And you're going within. You're going within and you're having a conversation with your person. You're getting validation within from your person. So for example, uh, like let's say for a specific person, this is how an inner conversation would go. Like let's say they did something in your 3D that you didn't like or it didn't make you feel good, right? So internally what you would do is get, an, get the apology within, get the reassurance within. So I would suggest like you write down like, them acknowledging you like hey babe or hey you know like i'm sorry that pushed out in 3d like you're talking to your higher version of this person the ideal version within not what showed externally in 3d but what you want to um manifest going forward the better version the conformed version of this person right so you're talking to that version so like let's say something happened like what i would do in an inner conversation if any of any of you are doing that as a like homework or anything is i would get that reassurance from them within like i would write down like them telling me like hey babe i'm sorry for me pushing that out in 3d um i didn't mean to hurt you it must have been like your old thoughts about me your old assumptions of me playing out but i want you to know the more you see me in this ideal version babe or however you guys would talk with your sp the more you see me in an ideal version the more you persist i will push that out for you i promise you it's your thoughts creating it's your assumptions creating your reality i'm just here to push them out for you just like how an actor is doing its job for the director of the movie right you guys so get that reassurance get that validation like 
babe, I'm here with you. You know, I got you. I'm supporting you. Keep persisting in that better version of me. I will push it out for you in the 3D. Okay, that's like an example. Now, the the I'm going to get to the question I'm frequently asked within this topic. So what a lot of people say is like, oh, I don't do inner conversations or I don't like talk to my SP within my mind because I can't hear their voice or I can't hear my voice or I can't hear our voices when I'm imagining or when I'm writing it down. You do not have to. I never do. Like if I ever do an inner conversation, I never wait to hear, like wait to do it when I can hear my SP's voice in that moment. You don't have to. And the reason you don't have to hear anyone's voice. Now, if you do, that's a bonus. That's great. You know, but if you don't, it doesn't matter. Like, I'll give you an example. Um, like, have you guys ever thought of someone and they call you? And it doesn't have to be specifically SP. This could be anyone. Like, you just think of them and they call you. Maybe five minutes later, ten minutes later. And you haven't talked to them in a while, right? Well, how did that happen? Like, were you imagining their voice? Were you believing that, oh my god, they're going to call me right now. Let me do, like... Let me do this technique so they're going to call me right now. No, right? You just had a thought and you allowed it to conform, correct? That's why I say, like, also another frequently asked question. Where it's like all linking together. Another frequently asked question. Do you need to believe or um, feel your affirmations or inner conversations or any technique you're doing do you need to believe or feel them when you're doing it in order for it to manifest? Nope, you do not. And let's go back to that example I gave you. When I said, when you think of someone and they call you and you did it like unconsciously, it just happened. You thought of something and it happened, right? Were you sitting there and like trying to really feel the call or believe that this person will call me right now because I feel the passion within. No, right? You just had a thought and you allowed it to conform. So please take the pressure off of yourself, guys, to feel or believe because if you have watched any of my personal success stories or any success stories I have shared with of clients in my playlist on this channel, I, I stress that like you do not have to force yourself to feel or believe because all the success stories I share, none of those people or myself included, like all those jackpots I won or even my specific person conforming to me, I never forced myself to feel or believe anything, but I always knew that my thoughts create. That's, that, that's the, I guess that's the most important trust you should build that your thoughts create and i think like it's very like underestimated the small intentions throughout the day but you should be affirming for other things throughout your day so you can see the evidence and when you see the evidence you cannot make up excuses that thoughts do not create because you will be seeing like when I remember when I started believing, I truly, truly started believing my thoughts create, I would manifest small things all the time and it would happen all the time. And this was while I was trying to manifest my SP. It was like in the middle. So I remember like I would think of like, oh, I would love to have like pizza right now, but like I'm too lazy to go order it or get it, whatever. And then my dad would show up and he would have pizza. He was like, I brought you pizza. And I'll be like, that's odd. I was just thinking of it. Like the exact toppings too. He brought it. And then one time I was talking to SP and SP was like, don't you know, like, don't you know what you think of me? Like, I'm going to show you. Like, he was like, don't you know, like what you assume of me, I'm going to push out. And the reason why this is like, interesting is because my SP at the time, or even now, like he doesn't really know about what I'm talking about, LOA or any of it. So when he said that, it was like, everyone's you pushed out. Like he's, he's literally listening to my thoughts, you know? 
Um, and I know you guys get that all the time, but you probably are like, ah, oh, whatever, it's little things, like, it's not the big thing that I want, right? But you got to pay attention to those things, those even those little things, because that's showing you, hey, your thought just created. Hey, your thought just created. Hey, your thought just created. You know, like, I'm showing you that your thoughts create, you know, like, keep going. Everything is, like, there to, like, push you to keep going, because nothing is against you. So the first frequently asked question is like, um, do you need to um, hear when you're doing an inner conversation with your SP as homework or something, do you need to hear them, their voice? Or do you need to hear your voice? Or do you both need to hear each other talking in your imagination? No, you don't. Okay, that's number one. And if this is like the mistakes video, right? So what I want to say is if you think you do or you have not been doing a certain homework or exercise that helps you get into that state because you cannot hear or feel them, that can be a big reason why you're not seeing your manifestation. It's because you're waiting to feel good maybe or positive or to hear their voice talking to you in order for you to like you know get into that state which is a big no-no you do not have to you that that's not necessary it's not a requirement you just do your scripting you're affirming you you do it with you don't need to hear anything you guys okay and i cannot tell you how many times i get asked that question almost maybe 10 times a day every day i get asked that question that's why i wanted to like share so everyone could just start, you know, working on their mental diet without worrying about that. Number two um, question was, do you need to feel or believe? And a lot of mistakes I see in people and a lot of reason why you might not be getting your manifestation is because you're not really tapping into the state because you're worried if I don't feel it or if I don't believe it in this moment it's not going to work, so might as well not do it. But what happens is when you don't tap into your mental diet and tap into the state of experiencing what you want to experience or thinking from that end, what you're doing is like most likely if you're not there with your mental diet, you're probably in the opposite place where you shouldn't be, which is doubt, fear, lack, anxiety, right? If that's, if you guys have experienced that, comment down below. Um, Next thing I want to mention is, I get this question asked a lot too, and this is a huge no-no, okay? Do, like, if you have been doing this, it could be a reason why you don't have your manifestation yet, okay? When you are constantly looking at 3D for your evidence, or you're looking at, oh my god, like, a month has passed, I don't have what I want. A week has passed, two weeks have passed, a year has passed, I don't have what I want. Most of the time, you guys, when you're constantly like keeping count of where you're at and you don't have what you want, so maybe it's time for you to give up, you've been doing that. It, it's not just like all of a sudden like a realization like oh my god like I just realized I've been doing this for a very long time maybe I should stop it's you've been doing that on and off on and off on and off on and off so there's no consistency with the, your mental diet like remember when I say like if your thoughts were on a scale like you want the consistent persistent thoughts to be having your desire how would it feel how would it how would the conversations go? How would I be feeling if I had it? How would my self-concept be if I had it? But most of the time, you do that a little bit throughout the day, and then you jump back to, no, I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't feel it, I don't have it, I can't hear them, I don't have it, blah, 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 right? So there's a lot of on and off, on and off, hot and cold, hot and cold. That's why, like, maybe you're experiencing, like, drops of evidence or no evidence because of that. So... If you are constantly checking your 3D or if you are constantly checking social media or if you are constantly, I don't know, if you're constantly looking at the time frame and looking at how long you're doing this and you don't have what you want, that's a, that is not living in the end. That is living in lack. 
and the more you live in lack and the more you worry about when am I going to get it, the more you're reaffirming to your subconscious, like, oh, I still don't have it. Your subconscious is like, oh, really? Like, you don't have it? Okay, fine, then I won't push it out for you then. If you don't have it, you're God of your reality. You say you don't have something. I'm not going to give you what you want. I'm going to make you continue to feel like I don't have it because what you feed your subconscious mind is what will maximize. So if you feed your subconscious mind, I don't have this one thing, your subconscious mind is going to project it out. So you continue to say, I don't have this one thing. That's why rich people get rich, poor people get poor. Because a rich person constantly thinks I have, I have, I have, I have, right? And a person that does not constantly complains of, I do not, I do not, I do not. So there's no change in mental diet or thoughts. It's, it's constant. I look, I don't like it. I react to it. I look, I don't like it. I react to it. Same thing with, with specific people, you guys. If you're doing that, that's a big no-no. Don't do that. That is a reason why you won't get it. You look, you don't have SP, you react. You look, you don't have SP, you react. Or if SP says something to you and it triggers you, it triggers you for days and days and days and days. That's another thing. Watch your emotions. Watch the triggers. See them for what it is. It is feedback. It is feedback for you to see what you created in the past. That's how you felt in the past. And you're just getting more of it now because you haven't persisted in your new story enough for it to harden into fact yet. Okay, what happened with me and my SP all the time, you guys, whatever I'm telling you, it's because I've gone through it. I know triggers everything, every emotion you can feel, every like disappointment you could see in 3D. Like I've probably experienced that and I've gone through it and I've pushed myself through it and I've got my breakthroughs too. And it's hardened into fact too. So please don't think of yourself as helpless or you're not strong enough you're not a good enough manifester just because you don't see the evidence you want to see right now okay i promise you your desire desires you and i've learned it the hard way throughout years that's how bad of a reactor i was you guys and i wasn't even doing strict mental diets that's why it took me like a while but that's why i know how to teach my clients to not do, not make the mistakes, and get stuff faster, okay? And you, I want to mention something, you guys. If you are recreating your specific person, or anyone for that matter, recreating a specific person is not easy. And I will tell you why. I'm not reaffirming that it's not easy, but I'll tell you why. In my situation... I had built so many bad beliefs and assumptions that I just believed in them too much. They were too dominant. But I pushed through. Understanding law of assumption, knowing what to do, sharing what to do with you guys too. I pushed through, through tears, through triggers, through days where I wanted to give up and I thought this is not even worth it anymore. I did it and it's not easy and a lot of people um, don't like there's very few people that have recreated a person that they've had years of blocks with and years of bad assumptions with um, most people like I don't know how should I say this I've known SP for like over eight nine years you know what I mean and, and throughout that time, it's I did in a lot of assumption, you know, and a lot of people come to me with that type of same story, too. So recreating a, a, a specific person is not for the weak. And a lot of the times your ego is going to get you. A lot of the times your old thoughts are going to try to get you, try to reel you back into the old programming. Okay. But I'm here to tell you, recreating an SP works. Law of assumption works. Your desire desires you, that's a fact. Your thoughts creating your reality, that's a fact. States of consciousness creating realities, that's a fact. Jumping from 
one parallel parallel reality to another. That's a fact. I've quantum jumped many, many times and I've seen it and it's like, feels like miraculous. It feels like a miracle, but it's your power. So you guys, if this video helped you comment down below, um, I want you guys to know that yes, you may be going through hard times, but persisting works. Pers My life story is the best example. Persisting works, you guys. Keep persisting. Keep watching those thoughts. Keep taking your triggers as feedback only. Stop spending days and days and weeks letting the 3D affect you that much. Remember, it's just feedback. 3D is old. 3D is old. What you do now is creating your tomorrow. Okay? You guys got this. Thank you for everyone sending in amazing success from my courses. Thank you for commenting down below under the videos that you've experienced success from my courses or even one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. I love all of you guys. You guys literally make my day every time like you guys send in success stories. You guys write beautiful, beautiful comments down below. I love each and every one of you and I am intending for each and every one of you to see evidence in your 3D reality, to be patient, to stay confident. Remember who you are. You are the creator of your reality. Your thoughts are creating, your assumptions are creating. You cannot switch the turn off, you cannot turn the switch off, okay? So if you are doing any of those things that I mentioned in this video, um, just, Remember that you do not need to hear your specific person when you're manifesting them, when you're imagining them, when you're doing inner conversations. You do, you do not need to hear them. Number two, you do not need to check. Um, you do not need to feel or believe in your imaginal acts or inner conversations or affirmations. Because how many times have you manifested things? Were you sitting there feeling and believing them like, oh my God, I'm going to get this right now, right now, right now. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Out. Maybe sometimes you were, but most of the times things that flow naturally, you weren't. It was just like, oh my God, like I was just thinking that and I got it. Okay. And if you still doubt that, I have a bunch of videos with success stories that prove that that is, you do not need to feel or believe it. Now, let me say something. If you do feel or believe it, that's great. So don't try to change yourself now. Like, you know what I mean? If you do feel or believe it, that's a great thing. That's a bonus. But if you don't, you don't need to force yourself. It's not a requirement. You will still get the push out in your 3D. Okay. Um, all right, guys. And number three was checking social media, checking the lack, checking the 3D, check, 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 check. You're not doing this to just get evidence. You're doing this to get consistent, stable 3D push out. And to get a consistent and stable relationship of what you desire or what you want in your 3D, it has to be consistent in 4D. You can't keep jumping back and on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off and then expect your 3D to be stable. It, it won't work that way. Internal is external. As above, so below. As within, so without. Okay, you guys? Love you. I will see you in the next video. Um, all right. Bye, guys.